and welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on logarithmic functions. Specifically in this video I want to talk about graphing. So when I'm graphing a logarithmic function I like to use its inverse. In this case the inverse of log base 5 is 5 to the x. Inverses are really simple to generate a table of values for. Um, 5 to the negative 2 is 1 over 25. 5 to the negative 1 is 1 fifth. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. 1, 5 to the first power is 5, then we have 25 and 125. The thing about inverses is inverses just mean you switch your x's and your y's. Your y's become your, sorry, your x's become your y's, which I've already done for you, and your y's become your x's. So this becomes 1 over 25, 1 fifth, 1, 5, 25, and 125. Which means to graph this, I go 125, negative 2. Let's see, 1 fifth, negative 1, 1, 0. 5, 1, 25, 2 is already off the graph, so I'm just going to smooth graph. This is an asymptote. An asymptote is a barrier that does not get crossed, so that means this will never equal 0 or be negative. Um, if we look at this, the domain, I'm going to give you a little bit for free. Because this is an asymptote, my domain, my x values, are either 0 to infinity, or you can think of this as being x is greater than 0. My range, that's my up-down values, well, this is going to go forever up, if not slowly, but it will go up. This will go forever down much more quickly. Um, and if it's forever up and down, you can either say all real, you can say double bar r, you can say negative infinity is less than f of x, is less than positive infinity, or my favorite, negative infinity to positive infinity in interval notation. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.